Hi everyone, my name is Deepa. In this video, I'm going to talk about the orthodontic treatment that my son underwent, plus also how much the, the cost of the braces and also the jaw expander and all that. If you're interested, keep watching. I'm making this video so that I want to share my son's story and also see if this is helpful to anyone whose kid is uh, right now is about to get an orthodontic treatment or is already in the process of getting it. When I speak, I'm also going to insert some pictures on this side or here so that you can see what I'm talking about. My son was around seven years old. I used to take him to the regular dentist you know, every six months for the regular cleaning. That is the time when he got his adult teeth, like top two and the bottom two adult teeth was just grow. What we realized was he had something called the anterior crossbite. Means that one teeth, like the, the bottom teeth is actually outside than the top teeth. So the, the, the bottom teeth is like this, the top teeth is like out, like inside, okay? This was actually causing him a lot of problem because this top teeth, it's, it's really long, right? It kind of kept digging into the uh, bottom teeth and it was really, I actually could see the bottom teeth dancing. I, I was totally scared looking at that. So when the dentist saw that, she said, okay, I think it requires, uh, you know, orthodontic treatment. Um, usually, uh, you, you know, you get braces or jaw expanders around like 10 or 11 years old. But because of the situation my son is in, he might require that at this age, like when he was seven. I took him to the orthodontist. And when I took, I she told me that, you know, because the teeth is all, mouth is so small, and there are so many teeth there, it's all crowded. And that is the reason like all other adult teeth are waiting. They don't have enough space to come and things like that. My son and son's age, they see, they said that the jaw expander is the first thing they want to do because when you when you put the jaw expander, what it happens is it kind of the expands the jaw. They put on both on top and also bottom for my son. And with that, you know, it has like a small hole and then they give you like a little key to that. So they tell you, the doctor will give you instructions of when you have to go in and turn it. You have to actually turn it. For most of the time, my son, at night, I used to do that for him. He sees me with that key. He just runs and goes and hides somewhere. That much of a terror he was in when he sees that key thing. Because, you know, he's a kid. Not only that, it kind of like tightens it, right? It might not hurt, but I don't know how to say that. It He wasn't feeling very comfortable. So he sees me, he thinks like I'm like a surgeon or something. <laughs> he hated me for that. But anyway, so I had to, I had to do, and the doctor will give you the instructions of how, ma how many times you have to turn. So that was the first thing he had, which is the jaw expander. And that was, he had it for three months, okay? The doctors will assess and they will tell you how long it is needed. So they said it requires, it's needed for three months. Now, let's come with this, okay, I forgot this. Let's start with the cost, all right? When we went to the orthodontist, the first thing is we want to know how much it all costs, right? the jaw expander, the braces treatment, and also retainer. All this, the whole, all these things cost around $2,000 after the insurance, okay? Insurance covers the rest and then the rest is the $2,000 which we covered. So I just want to tell you that first. Now I have seen with other kids, um, uh, they have both jaw expander and also braces, but this dentist like, you know, Having one thing in the mouth is very difficult. If you have everything, I feel like really feel very bad for the kids. You know, it's not easy to eat and anything that they eat go get stuck in that, the cleaning and all that is required. And you know, you have something in your mouth and it needs a lot of uh, cleaning and everything. So we realized that after the three months of the jaw expander, his face kind of little bit changed you know the, the the structure jaw structure and we realized that the teeth kind of arranged itself properly it feels like this jaw expanded a little bit for this front teeth to go right you know go to its place and then everything aligned properly but because the, of the jaw expansion the front two teeth you know you have a little bit of gap on up and the uh, top and the bottom part so then they put the braces now the braces is for one and a half years, I think. They will. The doctors will keep on looking at, seeing the progress and everything, right? They let let you, They told us how long it would take. 
So they put the braces, they took the jaw expander, it was painful, I have to tell you. My son had a little trouble with it because it was there for three months and when they took it, he had like, uh, it was hurting him. But then once the braces they put, it, it, it felt much better and you can see the teeth aligning itself so properly, it felt so good. Now, the braces was around uh, one and a half years he had it. Yes, because right now he doesn't have it. Now, if you see with the braces, I'm going to insert the after picture. Even my son loved it. Then after the braces were taken off, then they give you a retainer, just which fit the kid's mouth. And the retainer, they say that for first six months, you need to, six months says think, yes, you have to have the retainer 24-7. Uh, Maybe you can uh, take it just for eating and drinking water, but it should be in the mouth for 24-7. So he, my son had that retainer for six months and then they said you don't have to do the whole day, rather just use it in the night. Uh, that's what he is doing right now. So right now he's in a stage where he goes to school, he comes, he does everything and he eats and he brushes, flosses and then just before he goes to sleep, he has his retainer and then he sleeps, wakes up, remove the retainer and just go up, go by. This is how, this is how his routine is right now. Washing the retainer, cleaning them is very important. The retainer, because it stays in the mouth for a long time, it can get um, you know, it can smell, it can, uh, it, it's, it's not pleasant, let me put it that way. So constant cleaning is very important. So, though, so I use something that which I will place put here, which you can use every once in every week or maybe two times in a week. You could, you could take up, uh, you know, you can have warm water, put a capsule of this and then put your retainer and leave it. Leaving it overnight is also good, if not like a couple hours and then take a simple toothbrush, right? Like the kid's toothbrush, have one just for cleaning. Then you can take it off from the liquid and then just clean it and then wash it and keep it. And also don't forget, make sure the box is also washed every time. So if you do that, the smell kind of a feeling will not be there just for the kids and also for us. That's very important. And then, so this is where he is and now he is nine year old and then is, uh, he's been wearing retainer and it seems everything is, everything is good so far. You are looking for this treatment for your kids or you know, if you just want to get the general information, I hope this information helped you. All right. Have a nice day. Bye.